Hello students. So fourth class students, you have to open your social textbooks. You have to open your our new social textbooks and keep in front of you and open the ninth lesson. Open the ninth lesson. Soils of India. So today our topic is soils of India. First, what is soil? This soil. Where it is found? Where it is found? We, as we all know. Soil is the uppermost, uppermost layer of the earth surface, right? So how is our earth in is it? It is in a globe model shape, right? You say it is spheroid shape. So upper layer is where we found the soil, the upper part. You can found the soil upper part, right? In the upper area, we found the soil. So the uppermost, what is soil? The uppermost, whatever I am writing, you have to note down the points. The uppermost layer of the, note down the point, the uppermost layer of the earth surface, the uppermost layer of the earth surface. is called soil okay this is the definition of soil it is found on the uppermost left side now what is present so we all know the soil right but what is present in the soil no, William, soil is a mixture of mineral particles soil is a mixture of mineral particles means in the soil there are some types of minerals like rock sediments so what is rock sediments means a small small rock type of pieces will be there soil is means it is very tiny particle right but in the soil in the soil we can also find a rock pieces little big size right a rock pieces we can find those are called rock sediments what they are called rock sediments so soil is Soil is the mixture of mixture means it is mixed with in the soil there are many particles mixed. Soil is a mixture of mixture of mineral particles. Mineral particles means small small mineral particles. Mineral particles. So what are that mineral particles? Example you can see. They are. What are the mineral particles are found in the soil? In the soil itself, they are rock sediments, as I said. Rock sediments means rock pieces. The broke, the broken rock pieces. The rock which got broken and made it became pieces. That rock pieces is called rock sediments. And air. In the soil also there is a little air how because in the on the soil you can see when you are seeing soil you can see some space in the soil there is some space so wherever the space is there what happens the air occupies in the space if some space is there what will happen the air will occupy that space the same way in the small in the soil also there is a little little space in that space the air is present here the air is found in the soil so what are the mineral particles rock sediments air water and humus so water is also present in the soil here water is also as rain is when rain is falling or the rivers are flowing or the uh, whatever it is getting stored that will store in the soil also here so water is also present in the soil and water humus here you might have listened this word maybe maybe so humus humus means nothing but uh, on the earth many trees were born and uh, of right human beings were born in the same way many trees uh, and uh, uh, different kinds of uh, trees crops are grown right so when the crops were buried or the lifetime of the crops was completed 
the particles the particles of the leaves trees uh, stems those all then become a tiny particles and mix in the soil clear the particles of the plants plant particles leaves stems or whatever that will become a tiny particles and will mix in the soil clear when the tree was dead clear that will mix in the soil that is called humus means you can write it as a leaves leaves particles tiny leaves which were already dead leaves you can say leaves stems etc which is related to trees here that particles is found in the soil that is humus so here soil is only different now now note these points whenever i am writing so now formation of soil is not a small process it's a very long process formation of soil is very long process it will take thousands of years formation of we will see the pictures also we have to take there are different types of food. soils also we will learn about it so formation of soils formation of soil takes thousands of years takes thousands of years thousands of years how thousands of years so here how how is the question so how it will take uh, thousands of years so soil will form because of the weathering and gradation weathering means we know the weather <coughs> the atmosphere right usually the atmosphere which you are seeing air winds waves the ocean waves all are there in the atmosphere clear so here in the oceans if you see the water is hitting the rocks for example i'll show you some pictures you can see some here something winds or rainfall is hitting the soil so because of that it became like that in the same way the the wind the winds waves the winds waves and weathering these weather or the winds are flowing continuously and it is carrying the soil so the wind you might have seen many times the soil is moving from one place to another place in the picture of air clear so here weathering 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 is the process weathering is the process in which in which it carries in which it carries rock sediments rock sediments soil etc so here because of the weather is hitting some rocks or there if for example i will draw a picture you can see here for example a small type of rock pieces are there for example it uh, written this part okay now we will draw and show you for example for a particular place is it so here a rock pieces are there what, what are these rock pieces some not rock pieces uh, some rocks big rocks okay so what are these rocks so weathering is a daily process right daily air will come daily with, uh, winds will come sometimes will it will come in a heavy force clear so when this weather is continuously coming daily daily process right so here what is the weather is doing it is hitting the rocks it is hitting the rocks continuously the pressure the intensive 
energy if the pressure of feathering is hitting the rocks because of that these rocks will get into pieces will get into small type of pieces what will happen here these rocks will get into small small pieces you small small pieces now what are this rock became broken into small small pieces now this weather carrying this rocks means it is taking the rocks with the air air low the rocks would have consequently it will move from one place to another place friends understand so now this rocks also will move from one place to another place it might take kilometers or whatever it is got so now here the soil formation so for example a particular place is there 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 is not much soil now what happened because of this weather the, this rock sediments went to another place and formed their soil wherever the place the soil is not there they the soil was formed because of the weathering so weathering is a important point weathering or also we can call it as a gradation gradation in a short we can say carrying rock made rock sediments we can say carrying rock sediments okay so now we have learned how the soil is formed it will take thousands of years at a time the soil will not form and the height of the land will also change because every time from one place to another place it's a regular process the soil will go to the places and from one place to another place the soil will come because of that the height of the land also increases and somewhere after some years 10 years 20 years 100 years this the height of the land will also change clear so this is a regular process okay so let me check the video once whether it is continuing okay so now so what are the important thing in the previous gradation waves wind weather in the formation of soil that will carry from one place to another place like rock sediments and soil and some other mineral particles clear so now <coughs> soil so what is the use of soil so question here again what is the use of soil think what is the use of soil so now what is the use of soil here the most important factor is the most important factor most important factor is fertile the most important factor is fertile fertility you can say the most important factor fertility <coughs> fertility means <coughs> what is meant by fertility growing crops the soil which is suitable to grow the crop soil is soil helps to grow soil is soil helps to grow the crops clear so it helps fertility it helps to fertility nothing but growing crops clear because of the soil only the crops will grow because of the soil and water and all these mineral particles and many other objects the crops will grow that is the main 
important factor and adding some fertilizers manure and what are the main things we needed for growing crops fertilizers fertilizers means say we can uh, here fertilizers okay fertilizers uh, seeds pesticides chemicals they will use for the crops so these fertilizers are also important to grow the crops now okay so soil is very important remember the point soil is very important to grow the crops for fertility okay so now we will learn the different types of soil so you might have seen there are different what are the different types of soils you might have seen some soil is in red color you might have seen some soil is in a black color red color you might have seen some places red soil is there some places some brown color soil is there some black soil so usually kids play with that black soil right so in particular areas that soil will form mostly so now we learn about the types of soil write the heading types of soil the video okay types of soil so first one is alluvial soil you can see in the picture in the page number 295 here right alluvial soil it is grain color nana alluvial soil you can see in the picture So here, see in the picture right, the first one is alluvial soil. So it is alluvial soil is the most fertile type of soil here. Alluvial soil is the most fertile of right. is alluvial soil. Alluvial soil is the most fertile type of soil. Fertile means as I said to grow the crops. So, so this alluvial soil is most fertile that means in this soil mostly the crops will grow clear most of the crops uh, will grow in this soil clear is the most fertile soil the most fertile soil fertile type of soil rich type of soil type of soil So now where this soil is found? So here it is found in the mostly northern parts. Where? Where it is found? It is found in the northern and the coastal plains. Northern, you might know, you know, north, south, east and west. Upside is the north one, downside, south one. So the northern areas, so you can see northern and the coastal areas, coastal coastal areas so northern northern areas northern places coastal coastal plains now you can take plains okay so it is found in the coastal plains actually it is carried from one place to here from for example the river flowing down from the Himalayas so here mostly found in these areas actually from the Himalayas rivers Himalayas rivers so this river is flowing into these areas where 
the northern areas and some coastal plains areas coastal plains areas the himalaya river is flowing from in this river through this river through this river this alluvial soil alluvial soil flows flows to which region to this northern coastal plains from the upper region himalayas rivers in this rivers the soil will come as a like a weathering process and it will found mostly the soil alluvials are found in the northern coastal plains here now it is sandy and gray in color you have to write gray in color which color gray in color and it is sandy sandy means like a you can fold like this and pour it like pour it like sandy and it is gray in color remember that color name it is gray in color now what type of what type of see different different places we can in different types of soil different types of crops are grown so in the alluvial soil what type of crops are grown now i will write some examples what what are the types of crops example here it is well known it is suitable for example rice rice is very well grown in this alluvial soil rice wheat rice wheat is grown in this area maize sugar cane cotton jute maize sugar cane cotton jute so these are the some examples these are some examples grown in the alluvial soil so what crops will grow in the alluvial soil repeat again rice wheat maize sugar cane cotton jute these type of crops grow are mainly grown in the alluvial soil okay and some uh, pulses millets also grow no? you can write pulses you can see in the textbooks also pulses millets oil seeds so here many thing many crops are there why because it is mostly suitable for the growing crops alluvial soil is mostly suitable for the growing crops oil seeds etc clear so we have learned revised about alluvial soil again now we will learn about the second type of soil that is black soil what it is black soil you can see in the picture first see the picture in the textbook that is black soil here you can see the black soil the picture here in the picture you can see the black soil black soil here you might have seen the black soil so here so how black soil is formed from lava rocks mama remember the thing how it is formed there alluvial soil it is coming from the himalayas region to the mostly northern part and coastal plains here black soil is formed from black soil is formed from lava rocks from lava rocks r o c k s so what is this lava what is this lava you might have listened also lava means whenever the volcano 
in in the earth there there is so much heat intensive heat whenever the intensive heat pressure will occur that will the heat will throw come out that will erupt outside and it comes as a lava that will come out as a lava and it is also called as magma it is also called as magma so that heat soil will come out from the earth it will come out from the earth and this lava rocks after so many years it will get cooled down and these rock pieces same like in a weathering process you know a weathering process in the weathering process it will move from one place to another place so the black soil is formed from the lava rocks clear lava rocks like a mostly formed like a volcanic eruptions mostly it is found in the Duncan plateau in the Duncan plateau it is where it is formed so where it is formed you can see it is formed in Duncan plateau Duncan plateau region means you have to also know about the Duncan plateau region or not Duncan plateau region means like Maharashtra the upper part of the Telangana. Some part of Telangana also comes the, into the Dakin Plateau region also. So Dakin Plateau region like Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra you can see, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, it, and in Gujarat also it is formed. Gujarat. So in this place, this black soil is formed. So see the picture. Again, okay. where is the black soil is formed? It is found in the Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat. Clear? So now so now Okay, return this part. So now it will not allow. So it is like a clay type uh, uh, rock uh, soil. So it will not allow soil to pass from it. Uh, sorry, it will not allow water. Mostly it will not allow. It will not allow water to pass from it. To pa pass, to pass from it. And take the soil. In this black soil, the water will not pass. It will not enter into the soil, and it will not pass in, inside the soil. Clear? So because it is like a clay type. Clear? If you see the alluvial soil, it is like a powder type, small particles. So that is the reason the water can also pass from it. But in the black soil, it does not allow, mostly it does not allow the uh, water to pass from it. Clear? So now what types of crops are? And here, one thing you have to remember, it will carry moisture now. Means dust particles. It will carry moisture long duration. It will carry so here so moisture is present moisture is present moisture is present in this soil moisture is present in long duration up to long duration ante chala kalam varaku the dust particles is will be the moisture will be there in this black soil the moisture will be there up to long duration in the black soil clear so now so to write the notes you can backward you can play the backward you have the option to do the forward and backward also clear so now this quality is suitable for cotton. Examples, what type of crops we can grow here? Cotton, 
वी कैन ग्रो द कॉटन वी कैन ग्रो शुगर केन इट इज सुटेबल फॉर ब्लैक सॉइल इज सुटेबल फॉर कॉटन शुगर केन वॉट टाइप ऑफ सॉइल वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्रॉप कॉटन शुगर केन वीट एंड मिलेट्स वीट एंड बीच एंड मिलेट्स मिलेट्स मीन्स सम पल्सेस क्लियर मिलेट्स नाउ इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वीट एंड मिलेट्स इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ब्लैक कॉटन सॉइल सो ही आर मोस्टली फोन कॉटन कॉटन इज वेरी सूटेबल इन दिस सॉइल कॉटन कॉटन विल ग्रो इन ए लार्ज अमाउंट Here cotton will grow in a large amount, so it is also called as cotton soil. What it is called? Called as cotton soil also they will call cotton cotton soil because large in the large amount cotton crops we can grow in this black soil. Okay. and it widely most people will the farmers who are there in this black soil regions in madhya uh, in these black soil regions they will grow the cotton mostly they will grow the cotton and remaining sugar cane wheat and millets okay so today we have learnt about the how the soil is formed and the, about the alum types of soil alluvial soil black soil okay so in our in our next video we will learn about more types of soils and after that you can do the lesson reading about that soils also that you can grasp easily okay so you you have to do the lesson reading types of soil when like, uh, soils of india and lesson you have to do the lesson reading okay students in our next video we will continue that lesson thank you